Hello all and welcome back to my channel JS Lab. So today we will see control structures in R in detail with example its expression etc. How to use those things and these control structures are very useful when you deal with data analysis and also writing a function. Okay. So control structure in R allow you to control the flow of the R programming. Okay. It is similar to the control structures you might see in other type of programming languages like Python, C, etc. Okay. So these are the basic control structures. So first of all, you have if or if else. It is used to test a condition and do the operation. For is used to execute a loop a fixed number of times. And while is used to execute a loop when a condition is true. Okay. If uh, while is used not properly, then it may cause up to, um, it may uh, execute the loop for infinite times. Other than this, we have a repeat, break, next and return. Those are rarely used that I will explain in a separate video. First of all, we will start with if and if else control structure. And the condition is like this. Okay. So if you are using if, then if and inside bracket, you should write the condition. You should write the condition, then call your bracket. Okay, inside curly bracket, you need to write what you need to do. Okay, what do you need to do? Okay, what do you need to do? So that will be executed. And if it is, uh, if you want to go for an else statement, then you should add, add an else. Okay, else what to do? Else you open a curly bracket and close that one. Else what to do? Or you can use if chain also. Okay, if and again and if, etc. Okay, we'll see one example with an example. Okay, first of all, we will we'll give value of x as 3. Okay, you give as 3. Okay, so you run. Okay, so if you type the value of x as 3, then it is written. Now uh, we are going to use this is a simple example. Okay, if condition is x greater than 3, if sorry, if x greater than 5, okay, then what to do? Then you need to provide, you need to add a, y should be given a value 2, for example. Okay. Else, else, give the value of y as 8. Okay, so now if the x is greater than 5, then y will be assigned with a value minus 2. And if, and in another case, it will be assigned, y will be assigned a value 8. Okay, so we will run this program. We will run this program run. Okay, now. So if you if you type the value y, you can see that it is 8 because y x is not greater than 5, then it will say the L statement. Okay. So we'll, we'll, uh, first of all, we will change the value of x to 10. Okay. So x value of x is 10. We will run that one. Okay. So x is given as value 10. So it is clear it is 10. Now if you execute this uh, if else statement, you can see that y will be assigned, we will get the value of y, y will be assigned a value 2 because x is greater than 5. So first condition is uh, true. Okay, this is the if else statement. Okay, so else is not necessary. You can go for x less than three. Okay, you can put some value z should be given nine. Okay, some some example x less than three. Okay, so here if you execute this one, execute this program. So okay, execute the value z. No, z is not there because x is not less than 3. Okay, so you give the values 2 and we'll check. Yeah, okay. Then if you run, okay, z will be there. Z, z will be given 9. Okay, that second if is also uh, worked. Okay, so else is not a necessary one. If you want, you can use that. Okay, so that is if and if else statement in R. Now we'll see for statement. For, okay. For also the Condition is same for then inside bracket you need to provide the condition. What is the condition? And uh, no, what is the condition for looping? It is used for looping for a certain number of time. Okay. For condition is given and in curly bracket you need to do do something. What you need to do? Okay. Now we'll see some uh, examples for for. One simple example is you need to for condition is you i in one to ten. Okay, 1 to 10, print i, this is very simple example, print i, so what this will do is, so it will take print i, so 1 to 10, it will, this i will be looped from 1 to 10, 
okay so first of all in the first step i will be given value 1 then it will go inside the uh, bracket it will print i then uh, it will loop around for 10 times okay we will see that one okay so run so you can see this from 1 to 10 it will be looped okay so you can do uh, instead of print you can do something here okay if you want to execute something that also you can run so now you can it is clear that this is looped for a certain number of time okay that is one example let's go for another example so we'll put some characters we'll put some characters okay c a b c and d okay so we'll run that one okay so x is given some values so you can see here x is given four values now we can print okay we can use the same example for okay instead of i you can do any letter you can do okay for a in 1 to 4 sorry curly bracket close open and in the condition is you need to print print what x the eighth term okay x eighth term so it will print a b c d you can see that a b c d is printed okay so its value that is one thing now we can change another thing for a in will you seek along seek along okay so you can see seek along print that run that one the same thing that means seek along means it will count number of elements one two three four okay so uh, this loop will be continued for four times the first case a will be one value one then two three four okay and the first second third and fourth term will be uh, printed out okay that is the uh, case of for loop we we'll look at another example for for loop okay in which for loop can be used inside one loop inside another loop one loop can be for loop can be used inside another for loop okay for that, for that i am introducing a matrix okay a matrix of matrix uh, using values 1 to 6 and uh, two row and three columns okay so we'll uh, run that one okay so uh, the new x value is we'll put the x value you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 rows and 3 columns okay we introduced a matrix now we'll uh, the for loop for a in sorry we'll do i okay i in sequence length okay seek length l e n n row of x okay n row of x so for that what do you need to do open the curly bracket then write then inside that one you are putting another uh, for loop for j in seek len len of x of n call x okay number of columns in x and for that you need to print print x of ith term and ith term uh, ith row and jth column okay so what it will do is first of all i in seek length of n row so number of rows will be 2 okay so it will uh, take the this value as 2 okay i will be 2 so it will be looped 2 times and j in seek length column 3 columns are there so this second for loop will be run for 3 loops okay and it will print the uh, terms which is ith term and j term each for each iteration okay so we'll see uh, that one okay if you run this one you can see 1 3 5 2 4 6 okay uh, if you look closely you can see first of all it will have the value 1 1 so first row first column it will be printed first row second column it will be print then first call third row so, this, uh, so 1 3 5 will be printed then second row first column second row second column and second row third column 2 4 6 will be printed that is the for loop so we have seen one a simple for loop and one for loop inside another for loop okay this is for loop will be used uh, regularly and it will be very helpful helpful while doing the uh, data processing next one is while loop okay while loop so while while loop is another major looping construct in r and the basic idea is that the while takes a logical expression and will execute the loop based on that logical expression if it is true it will execute that one and if it is false you need to it will not execute that and if it is executed you need to you need to put break or next to uh, break that loop otherwise it will uh, if the condition is not provided well then it will loop for infinite times okay so the 
we'll, we'll look, look with an example okay the condition is same okay so you put while and you need to provide the condition provide then inside curly bracket you need to provide what you need to do okay so we'll uh, start with c okay we'll so c you give a value zero okay give a value zero and we'll put the while while what is the condition condition is when c is less than 10 okay less than 10 then what you need to do print that one print c print c okay and also c should be equal to c equal to c plus 1 otherwise it will uh, since the value is true it will continuously uh, loop through for infinite times okay c equal to c plus 1 okay so if for each we will see what happens okay so we put run so it will one uh, from 1 to 9 it will print out so that means first of all it will be true so 0 will be uh, printed then c will become 1 that will be printed till it becomes 10 then the it will not this loop will not be uh, activated and it will go outside the loop okay so 1 to 9 will be given if this one is not given okay then it this one will loop through and the print 0 will be printed for infinite number of times so while loop using of while using while loop you should be very careful so these are the control structures in main control structures in r okay the remaining are return break and next that i will explain in the next video i hope you enjoyed the video so if you have any comments or suggestions please write in the comment section we'll see you in the next video thank you bye